In the late 70s, Dragon would become one of the biggest bands in Australasia. And Hello Sailor would become a national institution. But before all that, in the early 70s, the two bands shared a house nicknamed Mandrix Mansion after the popular drug at the time. It was quite unique in New Zealand history, really, that you get two bands that have contributed so much that they should actually start together. They fed off each other. Their flat was located in Ponsonby, Auckland, which in those days was a working class suburb. A lot of people were scared of Ponsonby. Oh no, don't go to Ponsonby, there's all the people there, you know. But we loved it. Yeah. It actually shaped what we were as a band. They lived upstairs and we moved in downstairs like an infestation of cockroaches. And there were big parties where, you know, a hundred people would come upstairs and a band would be playing and thrashing about. And I do remember going down one, st one Sunday afternoon, going downstairs while Hello Sailor were playing and the whole of the roof was sagging, you know, like this much up and down with the rhythm. And there were people, you know, shocking bits of wood underneath it so the whole thing didn't collapse. Between them, they certainly developed, I suppose you could call, Ponsonby Rock. It was documenting the times and what was happening. All our songs were bitching about the fact that we couldn't get jobs and how tough it was and moving. <laughs> Hello Sailor weren't yet as successful as Dragon, but they also had a Ponsonby song, Kick It, although it was never recorded. Walking through the streets of Ponsonby, running and kicking and stomping away, walking through the streets of Ponsonby, sitting on a Bangkok rock baby. Stuff like that. 30 years on, Ponsonby may have lost some of its original charm. I don't like walking through Ponsonby. I might flick a cigarette butt on the, on the street and somebody will pull over and threaten to pull, call the police, you know. Give me a break. I, I, uh, Ponsonby was just a cool place to live. Free. It was very free. <laughs> 